Hello everybody and welcome back to the brand new video. Today we have the Chronicles Baseball here um, that we had talked about yesterday. So we have that box and this one. Less cards than this one but two autographs. So we will start with this one first. I love this set. I've been working on completing it for a while now. Um, it is a big set, though. Man, it's a huge set. I was thinking about doing a case or some first off the line of this at some point, but not quite ready to do all that yet. So, here we go. We are looking for one autograph per box, and I think... Um... 15 revolutions. I think there's relics in here as well, or at least one. Maybe wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that there's at least one of those America's Pastimes uh, relic cards. There's our bonus pack. We'll set him aside. Let's set that empty box back here. So here we go. We got Joe Adele. That's the Chronicles base set there. And our first card here is upside down. I believe that's a pastime, so that could be an auto or a relic. Bobby Dalback, Titan. Trevor Story in the certified. And that is our, um, uh, what are they called? The Revolution inserts. And that is going to be Cabrian Hayes. That's a good looking card there. All right, so our first pastime is going to... It is a relic. It's a double relic. Ramon, Ramon Lorino. And that's a double relic for the A's there. And that's a good looking... Use the thick ones there. Got Lauren over here sleeping for me today. Cameron is off at camp this weekend. All right, so here's the base, Correa. Anderson Tata. There's Alec Manoa and a Titan. And Jose Ramirez and Jacob deGrom. Great pitcher there. Does anybody else collect this set, or is it just me? Joey Gallo, George Springer, Andrew Vaughn, rookie, Crusade. There is going to be our auto right there. And John Carlos Stanton in the Revolution Parallel. So we will set that there. We'll set the base cards there, and... That's going to be our auto. We'll set him down here. Don't want to reveal that just yet. Too many cards to go. So this uh, Chronicle set here, there's like a bunch of different. See, there's the classics. There's the score. There's a Mercedes um, in the pinnacle. Luis Robert, Crusade. Man, maybe that wasn't our auto. A black uh, card that's upside down. There's Tyler Stevenson. Does it look like an auto? No. More than saying it's not. Okay. There's our black Whit Merrifield. Good looking card there. I love the black too. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to have Lauren look at the back of this card. It's not an auto. Okay. So that's not our auto. Oh, it's an XR Ryan Mountcastle. That's a good. That's a good card there. Good looking rookie there. So I'm not sure exactly why Chronicles. Yeah, why Panini is putting them like that. That's that's unusual. Um, I've opened. Whew, I've opened a lot of this, and usually they are not upside down like that unless it is a relic or a auto. Uh, our last box There's like Kim. That. Rogers. 
Yeah, now that you mention it, it might have been. But why that one looks like that. Monte Harrison. That is a Phoenix, but it is a little different. I believe that's Manny Machado and Garrett Crochet in the Revolution. Let me look at this. It's not numbered. Yeah, it's got a prism. I don't, usually, they don't have that like prism finish to it. I don't think. Anyway. This this box this this set I'm sorry this set <clears throat> when you get the hobby box it's it's a really good buy you get so many autos you get so many different like numbered cards and um, Kyle Lewis you get so many different numbered cards and parallels and just cool cool things so there's another one let me see what that is Revolution Peterson. Okay, we don't have an auto here. Tristan McKenzie in the gold standard. Um, what was I saying? The hobby. The hobby, yes, the hobby. The numbers. You get a lot of cards in there, and a lot. I mean, a, not a whole lot of cards, but a whole lot of good stuff. A lot of hits in that box, and for a decent price, honestly. Chronicles El Tuve, and there's Clayton Kershaw, and that's the America's Pastime, um, America's Pastime card there. That's a hundred and thirty point. Um, you would think when you feel these things, they're they got to be a relic card. They're not all relic card. There are some with one card autos on it, um, but that's just the series they did. They did a hundred and thirty point. They did a hundred and thirty point like acetate coated card there. Joey Bart. Xander Bogarts and Yerman Mercedes in the Revolution. I do like the pastime a lot. Um, the pastime cards, I just think it's neat because it's something nobody else does. There's, there's, name another set that has a 130 point card in it as a base set. I think that's neat. Clayton Kershaw, some people find it annoying, but I like it. Joe Adele, rookie card. That's a good one there. Christian Pache. There's a Bryce Harper certified. That's a good looking card. And our revolution is going to be Debbie Garcia. So... The auto checklist for this isn't bad either. There are, obviously, there's always some some no-namers and some people you'd rather not have their autographs necessarily, but Jake Cronenworth, Pete Alonzo in the Legacy. I like that series. Overdrive in the Mercedes. Newman Mercedes. There's another upside-down card. So we're going to have Lauren look at that. Bobby Dalbeck. Anything? Nothing. Okay. It is another... It's a Titanium. Altuve. Love that series. Don't love that player. It's just amazing to me how how they're you can have that many you know good players on a team and you still got to cheat. And then I don't know. I'm kind of glad that all those players kind of don't get the value that they would in the card industry. Like their cards are just nobodies. Nobody wants to support those kind of players. Chronicles. Ozzy, Ozzy Albies. There's a timeless treasure. Sorry about that. Uh, Ian Anderson, that's a really good one. I like Ian Anderson, he's a good one to invest a little bit in. Nick Gordon, in my opinion. Looks there's a Christian Pache, another good one, certified, and Pete Alonso in the Revolution. few packs left here in this one. Dane Dunning. Oop. Monte Harrison. That sucks. I know what that card is. Jared Kelnick. And there's Sol Mara. Rookie card XR. There's another Monte Harrison. See, that one doesn't have the prism finish to it. It's got just a shiny, but it doesn't have the prism finish to it. Um... So that right there is going to... Oh, that is our auto. Okay, I'm not going to look at that. I thought that was a... Uh, 
Let's see, I'll just leave and cover it. I don't know if there's anything on the back that says the player's name. So, that right there is going to be our auto. I thought it was going to be a uh, points redemption. That's why I was like, that kind of stinks. But it's not a points redemption. There is actually a redemption on it. Joey Bart. There's, there's a... Uh, Rookies and Stars, that's a Marsano for the Padres. There's Yerman Mercedes, Correa, and Revolution is going to be pool holes. Um, <clears throat> I actually just, surprisingly, I put in a redemption. I put in, I think I've pulled four, four auto redemptions from Panini so far in this Chronicle stuff. And, um... I got an email yesterday that one is on the way back to me, which is incredible, pretty fast. I, I, there's people out there that have waited a year. There's a Trout score, and there's a Trout Limited. Holy cow, this is a Mike Trout pack. Check this out. Mike Trout score, Mike Trout Limited, and a Mike Trout Crusade. Wow. That's, that's pretty neat. Good player to have. Heck yeah, I'll take all the Trout you want to give me. There's Juan Soto in the Revolution. I'm really surprised we haven't pulled a numbered card yet. There's a Pache Zenith. Like that, like that trout. Anyway, um, the turnaround time was surprising for what for what I've been hearing. There's people that have cards out there that have been waiting over a year for their cards to be redeemed. And um, Joe Adele Classics. There's the rookies and stars. Vaughn, Kirillov. Uh, and that's Taylor Trammell in the Revolution. And our Zenith is going to be Scooball. Tarek Scooball. Last pack here. And then we got our bonus pack. So I have, I think, three more. Two or three. I think it's three more um, Redemptions out at Panini. No updates on them yet, but... Um, one of them's a really nice auto. One of them's a good, good card. Brent Honeywell, Bobby Dalback, Joey Bart. There's a good card there. And Brady Singer. Yeah, so I'm not gonna reveal who the auto is because I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you guys on I wanna show I wanna show you on the channel when I get uh the card back. I'm excited to get it back and um when I do, I'll reveal it. But, how about this? If you guess it right, in the comments below, guess the player. Maybe I'll send you something nice. Send something your way. There's a Christian Pache. Purple. Man, that is a nice card there. These are the... Uh, these are the... Uh, Purple Velocity. Yeah, Purple Velocity. Parallels. There's the Joe Adele. Like that. Bobby Dalback. Love that. Taylor Trammell. Ian Anderson. Good one there. Manny Machado. Vlad Jr. Like that one. Joe Adele again. Garrett Crochet. And Christian Pache. So, overall, a lot of good cards there. Surprised I did not pull a numbered one. I'm going to have to get back through and make sure I didn't because usually you pull at least one out of these. So here's our reveal on our auto. I'll do a slow reveal here, not too slow. So P Chronicles, a Zenith autograph. That's a new one. I haven't got that one yet. William Contreras. Okay, so not terrible. I'm excited to get a Zenith autograph, so that's going to be our auto card there. Um, and, yeah, let me move some things here. And we will get started on this one. It's amazing how quickly time flies when you're opening cards. We're already 14 minutes in, and this was a pretty small box. I will be doing more of the hobbies. Uh, I got one coming from eBay. Hmm? This is not the hobby. No, the hobby has three autos in it. 
Yeah, this is not the hobby. So this one will go pretty fast. This is four packs, eight cards per pack, but there's two autos. So we have a one in four chance that this first pack here has an auto in it. So there's Dalback. And there's an upside down card. I'm guessing that's probably going to be one. I'll show Lauren here on camera. Okay, it is an auto. I will set him right here. So he's on camera and... You that's there. There's a Juan, uh, a Mickey. I was getting ready to say Juan Soto. I don't know why. Uh, there's a Mickey Moniac, uh rookie. And that's the Acetate Magnitude. I do like that set. Um, and there's another Magnitude out of Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna. There's Jared Kelnick in the Gold Standard. Casey Mize in the Titan. Ian Anderson in the overdrive. And check that out. I believe this is going to be numbered. That is an obsidian blue of Aloy Jimenez. And darn it. Usually the yak maybe it's the yellow that's numbered. Trevor Bauer is our elite um insert there. And I could have sworn I have a blue numbered, but maybe I don't. Maybe it's the yellow that's numbered. That's either way. I love the obsidians. That is a very nice set. So the reason I'm trying to do all this and get used to doing all this stuff, as far as like keeping everything on camera, blah blah blah, obviously has to be done that way for breaks. Have to be totally transparent and everything. So. It's a shame that the world has come to that where there's people out there that actually do take advantage and, and steal cards and, and um, all that, but it's just a fact. So you never have to worry about that here, but I will, I will always um, do my very best to keep everything straight and out front here. Casey Ma is clear vision. Black Jesus Sanchez, Kohi Arihara, rookie card, Crusade, Tatis, that's my buddy there, I like Tatis, and Crusade, or I'm sorry, that's the Phoenix, and there's a Mookie Betts Obsidian, that is a very nice Obsidian there, that's the base Obsidian, there's not, there's not a whole, like, it'll change color, see the rainbow there, that other one definitely is blue. And the certified is Glaber Torres. So yeah, there's 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 a lot of people out there apparently that either don't ship cards that people win in breaks and don't don't just like <clears throat> or ship the wrong card. I don't know. It's I don't even have time to waste learning about people like that. Juan Soto. Garrett Crochet in the Revolution there. There's our... Let me start another pile here. There's our other Magnitude, Alex Kirillov. Mari, Mario Feliciano in the Zenith. Anthony Rizzo. There's a Mike Trout Titan, and that is a Refractor. That is going to be numbered out of 199 thought so the prism refractor of mike trout there titan get him sleeves there's a blue obsidian it looks like it's a blue it is cabrian hayes rookie card that is a nice nice card and yep it is not numbered but we will definitely sleeve him and ronald Acuna jr so there's our trout numbered and we are down to the last pack. I believe we have pulled both of our autos. I got them right here on the board. Understand this too when we get back to talking about the breaks. Um, right now, some of the stuff I do do, like off camera, like laying the packs out, blah, blah, blah. That's just like... We're doing these to get subscribers to our, our channel. We're doing these for you guys, for your enjoyment. None of these cards right now 
are going to anybody. These are these are my personal cards. I will make them. If you see a card you like, again, comment, subscribe, uh, comment to me. Um, I would appreciate to subscribe, but comment and let me know if you see a card you like because I, I, I a lot of these cards, if not all of them, are going to be available. Um, either our YouTube channel, I mean, or, yeah, our eBay channel, our eBay store, or our live auctions. We are going to do live auctions on this channel. So, if you see a card that you like, um, I will make a list of cards you want to see in the auction. Um, I'll do them as lots or singles, however you want to do it. And uh, a lot of these, like I said, will, will be up for, for sale. So, Fernando Tatis Legacy, J.D. Martinez, Bobby Dalback. In the rated rookie Donners there. Clearly, Donners clearly. Esteban Florio XR. Overdrive. Jonathan India. There's a good one. And Fernando Tatis Jr. in the Titan. Sam Huff in the Obsidian. And Joey Votto in the Elite. So. Yeah, so anyway. Back to that again. Uh, the reason I started that whole thing was to say. Yeah, just so you guys know. Any of this stuff that you guys don't want to see in the breaks, like me showing her the autos, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't have to happen in the breaks where you guys are buying into the box. If you guys are buying into the box, um, you know, everything be, will be legit, just so everybody knows. So here's our first reveal. Let me, um, let me see here. Here's how we can do this. Okay, so... I want to make sure I have it the right way up. Wow. Kind of a letdown there. AJ Puck in the uh, dual relic. So I'm guessing we're not getting two autos, obviously. We get a relic and... Okay, so find two autos or memorabilia cards. So this counts as one of our hits. So we have two Oakland... Uh, <laughs> Relic cards on boy on board. Lorena and Puck. No. Two different people. But same team. Not that I'm not that I'm like not upset we got a relic card. I I love those pastimes. I just I wish it would have been somebody different. And let's do our last uh, review here. Darn it. It's an Obsidian Auto with Kyle Lewis. Wow, that's a nice card. Man, do I like that card. It is not numbered, no. Looks like a, yeah, it is a sticker auto, but still, man, check that card out. Yeah, I love I love that card. All right, so there you have it. Our hits are on board as follows. Here has here you got the Kyle Lewis auto we just pulled um, in the Obsidian right here. We got the Mike Trout uh, numbered Titan card. We got the AJ Puck, and then we have uh, Loreno here in a dual relic as well. So two two dual relic cards. Um, and then here we got a redemption for Contreras auto, and that is a Zenith auto. Um, so I will go back through and make sure we didn't miss any numbered cards. I have a feeling we did. I'd kind of be a little bit upset if we didn't because, as I said, I, I average on these Chronicles Hobby boxes, I, I usually pull close to four or five numbered cards, three autos relic cards i mean literally like those boxes are loaded and we just opened a good many cards here and uh one numbered card so far so i'm gonna go back through and make sure i didn't miss anything i tried to go through that quick so it wasn't a long video for you guys on on uh on here but stay tuned we do have some new stuff coming i promise i really want to get my hands on a on a tops heritage hobby box um I'd like to do some other stuff. We may have something coming up here that Lauren does. Uh, if we can get our hands on it, we would like to do a Leaf Art of Sport um, box or two. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff coming, so please stay tuned. Um, again, this was Caleb with Dixon Line Collectors, and please stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot.